Aspiring Rockstars, that is my guitar Gertrude and welcome to my review of Sing Street, the 2016 Sundance Film Festival darling and it is directed and written by John Carney and it stars Ferdy Awash Pillow, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, along with Aidan Gillen, Maria Doyle Kennedy, Lucy Boynton, Jack Raynor among others. And this movie is about this young man, Connor, growing up in 80s Dublin and he sees this girl across the street from a school. He goes to her and asks her for her number and if she wants to be in a video for his band. She says yes and he goes back to his friend and tells him, we have to start a band. Right there you can see that this movie will be kind of quirky, kind of funny, it will be about this boy getting this girl, but it becomes much more than that. This movie develops layers that you are not expecting and it becomes a beautiful coming of age story about dramas in life and this boy chasing his dreams and this girl. I love how the relationship between these two characters developed. Connor and Rafina develop a beautiful relationship that is much more layered than it seems at first. You can clearly see that the boy is in love with her, but at first they don't exactly click as you would expect, so you're kind of trying to find out if she feels the same for him. However, the girl Rafina also has her own issues and she deals with that throughout the movie as well. And these characters eventually find something in each other that they needed but did not know that they needed it. This movie shows you Connor going after other kids to start his band and he finds his kids and he recruits them and the basic of this movie tells you that this movie is not going to focus on those kids. It's going to focus on the band in general but mainly on Connor and his story because throughout the movie you see the several issues he's dealing with. You see him creating this band, you see him wanting this girl but he also has his own issues both at home and at school because he just changed schools into this new one where he finds Rafina at. And his father played by Aidan Gillen was a really good role album by the small one. But there's one scene in this movie where Connor and his band are playing a gig and they're doing it in a Back to the Future prom style and let me tell you, you will never ever look at Littlefinger the same way again. One of my favorite things and characters in this movie was Jack Raynor's Brandon. He's the older brother to Connor and you see this guy wanting his brother to evolve as a musician and he wants him to achieve his dreams so bad. At first you kind of don't understand why and he's this standard older brother that is supporting his younger brother but then the story develops into something as I said you are not expecting and I am not going to spoil it and his character works as a beautiful metaphor for what the movie is truly about. I love the performance, I love the character and the relationship between these two characters is great and unique and the chemistry of the actors works beautifully. I think John Carney directed a great movie and not your standard musical. This is a movie that uses music to its advantage in one way that only John Carney could get out of this movie. The musical aspect of this movie is not all that frontal, it's not in your face. This movie deals with drama, it deals with a coming of age story first and after that it features some musical elements. I think the characters work great, they are relatable because they deal with conflicts that I think every one of us can relate to. I think that we found ourselves dealing with these same issues throughout our lives or something similar even. The story flows beautifully, the music and soundtrack are freaking awesome. And John Carney uses color palettes to tell you a story, trust me, the color palettes. They took the setting and the time period to their advantage and I think that's the most we could have asked for in this movie. Can't wait to buy it on Blu-ray if I ever get it. I recommend for you guys to watch it as well and find this movie near you as soon as you have the chance. It is a great coming of age story, it works the musical aspects perfectly, it's well directed, well acted, it balances perfectly comedy and drama and I now understand why it got so much love at Sundance. This is just a movie that will give you joy and will make you feel good about your life relating to these people and just an all-around great, great movie. And I'm going to give Sing Street a kneel before me. What did you guys think of Sing Street? Have you seen it? Have you seen it in the Sundance? Let me know all of that in the comments below, as well as your favorite John Carney movie and your favorite musical in general. As you go to the comments to let me know all of that, there are links to my Instagram and my Facebook in the description below, and you guys can stop me on the internet. And if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button below the video box and join our beautiful geeky community, and we can be geeky united. And if you haven't heard yet, there will be a link to my previous video, which is my Now You See Me 2 movie review, right here. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my review of Sing Street and I hope you go watch this movie as soon as you get the chance. It is definitely worth your time. Tomorrow I'll release my Finding Dory spoilers free review and on Sunday a very special video. This will be a very personal video and one in where I'll need every single one of you guys' help to help me achieve a lifelong dream of mine. So wait for Sunday to know all of that and there's a surprise video coming as well on Saturday night maybe. So stay tuned and I'll see you in all those special videos and reviews coming to the Geekness Overlord channel. Cheers!